All right, this is part two. I wind up it over time, obviously, right? So this video, I could make it. Um, I might be able to maybe do a 45-minute video here. Um, I'm almost done this article, I believe. Yeah. So uh, so what, what, what this guy says here, what? An opportunity for Avatar's film generating power or revenue, obviously, is is the technology of Avatar? Will the fan will the will, will the fans be immersed in that world, and and, and, and enjoy the movie so much that they're, they're, you're you're going to get sp uh, word of mouth spread, and that gets bust busting the seats in the theaters to go see Avatar? Did you see that movie? Oh my God, it's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? You have like one of one of those Robert Robert May Burnett talking about talked about when it rained in the movie. It felt like you were in the rain. It was, it was raining on you. Yeah, you just, the fans are immersed in that experience, obviously. And they get, and you get that crazy word of mouth. You know, what I'm saying the, 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 the what, the word of mouth can spread, and you can get more busts in the seats, obviously. And hopefully, you have it has enough likes to maybe hit maybe two billion dollars or one point eight billion dollars. Because judging from this article, Avatar was made for six hundred million dollars. They they pour. It's it's kind of hard to believe they put two hundred million towards towards marketing because they didn't. I didn't really get that much news on on, on get that much mark. Uh, the Avatar didn't the two didn't seem like it had a lot of marketing, right? But it says according to this article, Disney spent two hundred million marketing. That means Avatar has to do like a billion two to break even, man. <laughs> yeah, man. A billion two to break even, perhaps a billion. I don't think a billion. I, if it's six hundred million, if it costs six hundred million, yeah, they have to do like a billion, like a billion, a billion two to break even, man. Something crazy. This is like one of the most expensive movies ever made. Yeah. The Hobbit, I believe, was the most expensive trilogy ever made, right? Yeah. My page is frozen, guys. What's going on here? Let me refresh the page. My laptop is frozen, guys. Okay, I'm going to have to... That guys, I had to refresh the page. Hopefully, I can find that article again. News, Google News, and then it should be here. Yeah, found the article. Sorry, guys, my 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 art, the, the my computer froze. The computer froze. Let me just find where I was. What just happened? Oh, I finished the article, guys. Yeah, so I finished the article. So yeah, I, I scrolled down. There's no more. Yeah. So before I before I move on into another article here, um, I don't believe I'm gonna say is I don't believe Avatar two will hit the two million mark, and why? I don't think it'll have as much legs, strong of legs compared to. Um, Compared to what? Compared to Avatar One, I think it'll hit a billion. I think it might do maybe a billion five. If it does a billion five, the movie was profitable. It made hundreds of millions in profit, obviously. But if the movie makes a billion one, billion two, chances are the movie broke even because according to this article, Avatar was they spent two hundred million in marketing according to sources, and they spent four hundred million on the movie, which means the movie has to do a billion one, a billion one five, one point two billion to break even, obviously. Not two billion. James Cameron's two billion is, 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 is preposterous. The, the numbers don't add up. But the movie has to do a billion, billion plus to break even. Then a billion, like two to break even. If if, if this if this source is true, obviously, according to this source, it says that it, they, they spent two hundred million. Disney spent two hundred million marketing, which means Avatar has to do like one point two billion just to break even. It's crazy. Yeah. Will they hit that mark? We'll see what happens, obviously. Will it hit that mark? I don't know. We'll see what happens. See what I'm saying? We'll see what happens, obviously. We'll see what happens. I personally don't think Avatar 2 will have as good of a story as Avatar 1. I don't think it'll top that story. I think the technology is better than Avatar 1, but like, how good is the story? See what I'm saying? But hopefully the technology of the movie... You know what I'm saying? The, the, the cinematic experience and the story is good enough to, to, to get word of mouth spread. 
and you get then James Cameron can get more butts in the seats for his movie. And it does like two plus billion dollars. I don't think it'll do three billion, but it might perhaps do two billion dollars. I highly doubt it. And I'm going to make, make a prediction here. I will not be surprised if James Cameron's movie does under $1.2 billion. I will not be shocked. And, 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 and loses money, obviously. I will not be shocked even if the movie does $900 million. I don't think it will, but I will not be shocked if it does $900 million. Because I told you, the movie lost a lot of momentum. And James Cameron waited far too long. For what? For the sequel. He can't afford to do that for any of his other sequels. He's not getting any younger. Don't hate me, James Cameron. He needs to what? Pump out his movies as 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 as, 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 as as quick as he can. Maybe in every three 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 years. Don't wait thirteen years, James, for your fast year sequels. I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So we'll see what happens. Will Avatar be a flop? I don't think it'll flop. Will it be a sleeper hit or will it be a massive hit and do two plus million dollars? We'll see what happens. Obviously. Now let me find another quick topic here before I shut this camera off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm enjoying this Ivan's Hollywood. Yesterday I made a one-hour video on, on, my, on a, a video recording on my phone, but YouTube did not accept the file. That's why I had to record it on my on, on my video camera on my phone. But I need the laptop in order to read the news, obviously. So I can do one more topic here before I shut this camera off here. And tomorrow I'll find another topic to talk about. Yeah, let me see what news they have here. Give me a sec here. Um, see, all the personal stuff that goes on with the actors, I'm not going to cover that stuff. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to cover that stuff. Yeah. There's an interesting article here. I don't, I'm not familiar with this guy, but there's an interesting article here about Jerry, oh, Jerry Bruckheimer, yeah. Jerry Bruckheimer is that, is that producer who produced all the, all the, all, all those television shows. There's a, there's an article here how he says he has never done it for the money. Obviously, I can read that article, I can read that if you want. Or I can read something about Keanu Reeves, maybe. Let's see, let's see if there's any Hollywood news about... Let's say Keanu Reeves news. There's there's one here, but it's not by our it's not by Hollywood Reporter. It says Keanu Reeves went full kneel to convince Jackson to cast. What's this? Keanu Reeves went full kneel to convince Jackson to cast him as Oliver's character. So according to this 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 site, Start Facts, Keanu Reeves wanted to be in Lord of the Rings. Obviously. I don't know if this is a trusted so this is a short article. I can comment on it. I can comment on this article here. It's by, uh, but I'm, I'm questioning the source. It's not Hollywood Reporter or, Ver or Variety. But it says, Keanu Reeves went full kneel to convince Jackson to cast him as this organ character. Holy shit, I didn't know that. So according to this website, Keanu Reeves what? Keanu Reeves went, could have been in Lord of the Rings. That's pretty fucking cool. In Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, that's pretty. This is a very short article. I can read it, comment on it, and I'll shut this camera off here. Since I am. But I don't know if this is trust. This is a trusted source, so it's not Hollywood Reporter or Variety. I don't know, but they have quotes here about Keanu Reeves talking. Obviously, Peter Jackson talking, talking. Obviously, this is by a, 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 a site called Start Facts. Is it is it a trusted source? I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know if I want to read this because I don't know if it's a trusted source. I think it, it looks pretty trusted to me. They have quotes of, of Peter talking and all that stuff. 
So I'll read it out. But I'm, but just keep in mind, take this with a grain of salt as this this might this some of this might not be true. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So Keanu Reeves went full kneel. I'll read this article. Keanu Reeves went full kneel to convince Jackson to cast him as this Lord of the Rings character. So, so apparently Keanu Reeves auditioned for the role of Aragon, I heard. Obviously. So it's by Start Facts. Obviously, and it's the, the topic is Keanu Reeves went full kneel to convince Jackson to cast him as this Lord of the Rings character. And according to this article, he did he auditioned for the role of Aragon. That's crazy news. Holy shit. I don't think Keanu Reeves would have been a great Aragon, but I mean, it's tough for me to say. I haven't seen him play in the role, but yeah. So this is a short little article. I'll read this article and I'll shut this camera. I'll make a good 50 minute video. That's good enough for you guys. I'll take my shower, <coughs> get my beer, <coughs> get my beer and smokes, and I will um enjoy the the, the the show with you guys, obviously. So as we covered before, casting for Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movies was not untroubled, despite the impressive result uh, end result. In particular, Jackson went through several candidates for the role of Aragorn, starting with Stuart Townsley. I heard about this. When I read the book, I remember um, um, Jackson was considering Stuart Townsend. They, they hired Stuart Townsend at first, and they ended up firing him when they brought in uh, or, or Viggo Mortensen. They also considered Russell Crowe, but I heard Russell Crowe chose the role of Gladiator over the role of Aragon. That's why I heard in the book, yeah. Russell Crowe auditioned for the role of, of, of Aragon, obviously, but he chose he chose to do Gladiator instead of doing Lord of the Rings. See what I'm saying, and then they hired this Stuart Townsend, this younger guy, and they ended up firing him through filming, and they ended up hiring Vigo Vigo, obviously. So in particular, Jackson went through several cans for those. So this is this is accurate so far, for what I read in the book, obviously. In particular, Jackson went through several cans for the role of Aragon, starting with Stuart Townsend, who they fired, obviously, and they considered Russell Crowe, who, who chose to do a, a gladiator, before Vigo Montesin got that role. Lucky for him, all of... Lucky for him and all of his viewers who can now enjoy his iconic performance. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece, obviously. What we did not cover before is that one of those cans was Keanu Reeves. Obviously. But my guess is... This is my guess. My guess is what? My guess is what? Um, 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 what? Warner Bros. called up Keanu Reeves to audition for The Matrix, obviously. But they wanted Will, Will Smith was their first choice. And then Keanu Reeves won as Lord of the Rings, and he ended up getting he, he ended up not getting the part for Lord of the Rings for Aragorn for Lord of the Rings, and they and he gets a call. Yeah, Will Smith does not want to do the Matrix. You want the job or not? And Keanu Reeves is like, I'll take the job. And he ends up doing the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny. I'm saying that's my theory on it. Just to speculate. I'm just speculating here. I'm saying what we do not cover before is that one of those cans was Keanu Reeves, or at least he tried his best to become a candidate back then. Nine nine nine, an interview with the Australian magazine, rip it up. Also, this is accurate. Keanu, Re Keanu revealed when asked about the big projects which we're talking about at the time, the Lord of the Rings and the X-Men. So Keanu Reeves could have been the Lord of the Rings. He also could have been the X-Men. Imagine seeing Keanu Reeves as Aragorn. That would have been kick-ass. And seeing him in the X-Men, yeah. But I think him being in the Matrix role was the right choice. As I don't think anyone else could have played a better, a better one than Keanu Reeves. I'm going to put this out there. I don't even think Will Smith would have been as good of a one as Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves was a better one than even Will Smith. Some Sarah. Yeah. So Keanu Reeves could have been in what? Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. That's crazy news. Yeah. This is Peter Jackson. They're not quoting Peter Jackson. I'm petitioning to play Strider. I'm sorry. This is Keanu. This is them quoting uh, Keanu Reeves' interview. The Australian interview he did like back in 99. I'm petitioning to play Strider, so he was obviously auditioning for the role, obviously. I'd love to work with Peter Jackson, but I'm not sure if it's going to go ahead. I hope I can. Obviously. So according to this article, Keanu Reeves was 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 was, was up for the part for, for Aragon. But they chose Vigo or over or, or Russell Crowe. I heard Russell Crowe and what? Stuart Townsend and Keanu Reeves. So now Keanu Reeves now, right? They're they're up for the part of Aragon. They chose Vigo over all those guys. Which I think was the right choice, obviously. But again, it's it's it's, it's tough for me to say that because I don't I, I I don't know what it's like to see Keanu Reeves as a role of Aragon. So you, you, the only reason why I think Vigo was a perfect choice for the character because I'm used to seeing him as Aragon, right? 
Yeah. Keanu consistently expressed a desire to play the character, publicly campaigning for the casting to happen. Sadly, though, it didn't. So Keanu Reeves wanted that, wanted that part so bad, obviously, but he didn't get the part, obviously. But at least he got the part for The Matrix, and he, he killed that role, obviously, and what? And that made him a superstar, obviously. I want to play Strider in Lord of the Rings, the actor said in another interview. The director Peter Jackson is doing that, and I might have to go begging for the role. So Keanu Reeves really wanted that that, that role of, of Aragon, right? I have people making calls right now. Hopefully, he'll think I'm right for the part. I'm the man. I'm here. Obviously. The question is, my big question is, had Peter chosen Keanu Reeves to do Lord of the Rings, would, would Keanu Reeves have what? Dish the Matrix project, or he would have filmed both movies. I don't know. I don't know how it would have worked, obviously. But actors film multiple movies every year uh, at a time, right? He would have done both, obviously. So, according to this article, Keanu Reeves was up for the part of, of Aragon in his Lord of the Rings. That's crazy, man. Crazy news. That's crazy. That's crazy news. Obviously. But despite such flurrier effort worthy of Neo, Keanu's approach were in vain, and as it seems, the crew and castle of the rings do not even remember him being seriously considered as Aragorn. Yeah, I understand. I don't think Keanu Reeves would have been a good Aragorn. I don't picture him as Aragorn. He, he, I don't picture Keanu Reeves as an I don't think Keanu Reeves would have been a good Aragorn, to be honest. I think Vigo was the right man for the job. I don't think, I think Russell Crowe would have been a not bad Aragorn, but I think Vigo was the right man for the job. And Stuart Townsend was good, but he was a, he was a younger dude. And then Peter, Peter, it wasn't working, and Peter fired him while they were, like while they were filming, and they call they have to, they have to find another replacement. And they called up Vigo. I believe Vigo's first scene that he filmed was when he was talking about the ring race in uh, in Bree. Remember when Frodo was like, "What are they?" You know, what I'm saying he's like, "They're they're neither living nor dead. They'll they they'll, they'll, they'll never stop hunting." Remember that he's sitting down in that room. Yeah, that I heard that was Vigo's first scene in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they hired him, like, well, midway through production. And Vigo had to, like, pressure and, like, memory, get his lines, get, memorize his lines, all that stuff, yeah. Right. I'll read one comment here. I'll, re I'll read one more thing here. The guy says, maybe Keanu Reeves just didn't match Peter Jackson's image of Aragon. Yeah, I agree. I don't think Keanu Reeves was a good candidate for, for Aragon. If this new, if this is true, I think it is true, because I, th I think the source is pretty accurate. It's crazy. I didn't know this. I didn't know Keanu Reeves was up for the part of Aragon, but Peter just didn't th think he was good for the part. That's crazy news, man. Keanu Reeves and Lord of the Rings, uh, yeah. Maybe Keanu Reeves just didn't match Peter Jackson's image of Aragon, so that all the above-mentioned calls from Keanu Reeves, Keanu's people were in vain from the start. It is also possible Keanu Reeves eventually decided that with the upcoming sequels of The Matrix, he could not afford the risky, as with many great successes, The Lord of the Rings shows he was seen as a gamble at the time of his filming. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I mentioned this earlier. Keanu Reeves was 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 cast for The Matrix, so how would how would it have worked with him working on Lord of the Rings? He would have had he would have had a tight schedule, obviously. So I'm saying I don't think Keanu Reeves would have been a good Aragon to be honest. I don't, I don't think he would have been a good Aragon. I think Pierre made the right choice of not casting him. Don't hate me, Keanu Reeves. I'm saying. And Lord of the Rings was a big gamble at the time. That's why New Line didn't, was not willing to put like $200 million towards the movie. Bet $200 million towards each of the movies. No, they only put $94 million, $90 million towards each of the three movies. It was a big fantasy. It was a big gamble back then. Obviously. So that's why they gave Peter that shitty 90, 93 million budget for Fellowship of the Ring. You know what I'm saying? Because New Line took a big gamble with a fantasy, uh, fantasy genre movie, right? Yeah. Which had its share of difficulties and conflicts. Long commitments to the three big fantasy movies which were going to be shot back to back. Yeah, Lord of the Rings was shot back to back, which is even more risky. Because your first movie tanks, you know what I'm saying? But lo 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 a movie like Lord of the Rings, you have to film it back to back. Because Lord of the Rings is one story. And so the last thing you want to do is film for one year and then come back a couple years and film another movie. And all your actors are getting older. No, you have to film it back to back. Hence why Zayn is I am filming back to back because it's one story. The movie takes place in a span of like two and a half weeks. That's why you can't have your actors film for one year then you, and then a couple years later they film volume two and they're older. No. You have to film the whole thing back to back because it's one story. If it's not one story, you don't have to film back to back. And it's a couple years later. You can film it a couple years after, late, later obviously. But Zanus, I'm filming it back to back. I don't know, ten months to film the three volumes. So Zanus. 
And that is it for the article, guys. It was by Stark Facts. And the topic is, Keanu. I recommend you guys check this out. I didn't know this. Keanu Reeves went full Neil to convince Jackson to cast him as a Lord of the Rings character. So according to this article, Keanu Reeves had an interview with the Australian uh, uh, um, um, uh, Australian company, obviously, in 999. Supposedly, he really wanted to play the role of Aragon. And then Russell Crowe was up for the role of Aragon, but he chose to do Gladiator, obviously, I heard. According to the book, I remember that. And Stuart Townsend was the initial hire for Peter Jackson, but they ended up firing him halfway through filming. In the beginning of filming, they fired him. It wasn't working for Peter, and then they got uh, Viggo Mortensen to play the role. And that is it, guys, for my commenting news. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, obviously. I made a good, I don't know, 53-minute video. Tomorrow, I'll cover more Hollywood news topics, guys. So I covered the Avatar topic, and I covered the topic. I thought it'd be cool to talk about Keanu Reeves. Now, supposedly, he was, he was, he was supposed to what? He was supposed to, he was up, he, he wanted that role of Aragorn for Lord of the Rings, which I thought, but I told you, Keanu Reeves is not the right man for, for Lord of the Rings. He wasn't the right man for Lord of the Rings, I'm saying. He was not the right man for Lord of the Rings, Keanu Reeves. I'm saying. He was not the right man for Lord of the Rings, Keanu Reeves. I don't believe he was the right man for Lord of the Rings, Keanu Reeves. I'm saying. Peter made the right choice of firing Stuart Townsend, don't hate me, and hiring Vigo. I think that was the right move. That was the right move, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first episode of my Ivan's Commenting Hollywood news show. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'll make another video, another 50 to 1 hour video. I'm going to do on average 50 1 out 1 hour videos. Hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy that. And if I don't get the laptop tomorrow, I'll just make a listening, an Ivan's listening series. Talk for a good hour. Talk about Zayn's as usual. Obviously, right? So before I show this camera, I'm going to talk quickly about Skysis here. You know how you have, you know how when you when you go on Variety and you go on on Hollywood Reporter that you, you get that news, you get the you get the ads on the side. It's very professional. Think of some of that for my Sky Source News and my Sky Source on that uh, website. You're gonna have this news and they interview the actors. You have someone write the news and they interview the actors and it gets featured on my Sky Source News. And you got the magazine ad pictures featured. Something cool like that, yeah. That's why the, the actors, Peter Jackson, are gonna have a blast, man. They're gonna be part of that buzzing me for Zayn's. They're gonna be big movie stars. Me, Vijay, and Yaka's going to be movie stars. Yeah. Me, Vijay, and Yaka's going to be movie stars. That's going to be crazy. We're going to be movie stars. Yeah. Anyways, this video, I hope you guys enjoyed my, my first episode of Ivan's Commenting Hollywood News Show. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll continue the series. This is Ivan Amara. I'm signing out. Peace.